This week, the family of a Rosemont woman celebrated the conviction of her killer 42 years after her violent death. Well, now some legal analysts say that celebration may be clouded by an appeal because of something the judge did during the trial. Fox 40 Sincera Tonsil is here with this update on the case of Philip Lee Wilson. Sincera. Nikki Wilson is due to be sentenced on April 22nd for the 1980 killing of Robin Brooks. She was raped and stabbed to death in her apartment when she was just 20 years old. Thanks to genetic genealogy, Wilson was identified as her killer through blood and semen samples and arrested in 2020. Yesterday's conviction of an out 73 year old Wilson came after the jury reported to the judge that they were deadlocked. Defense attorney Mark Reichel says what happened next in court may steal away the peace that Brooks family says they've now found. The judge gave what's called, you know, it's called a dynamite instruction, meaning blow things up and sent them back in and said, look, continue to, to continue to deliberate. There's a host of discussions and arguments that takes place in the legal community about this, about the psychological effect of them being dissatisfied with the judge's answer. It sounds like the split here was six for not guilty. And then just a short while later, they come back with guilty. Well, what new evidence came in? It was the same evidence that they had seen and so forth. Regardless of what may happen with an appeal, Mark Reichel says this case is an example of the entire legal system getting better because of smaller and smaller bits of DNA, giving someone a chance to prove their guilt or innocence. The entire legal system improves. Eric.